Hi guys, my name's Niall and I've been a Portsmouth University student for the last two and a half years. In that time, I feel like I've gained enough wisdom and knowledge about Portsmouth and the university to tell a fresher what it's like. So here's my rundown on what it's like being a fresher at Portsmouth University. Over 23,000 students live in Portsmouth and the population of Portsmouth is just over 230,000 meaning about 10% of Portsmouth is students and the Portsmouth locals are absolutely used to students. You don't have to worry about violence, you don't have to worry about hate crimes, you don't have to worry about nothing. Despite having over 230,000 people, it is a very small place Portsmouth. You can walk from the top of Portsmouth to the bottom in about an hour and that makes it one of the most highly densely populated places outside of London, which is kind of fun to be honest. And not only this, it also has the highest number of independent pubs in the whole UK. So if you want to, if you like going down to a local pub or you just like having a drink, then Portsmouth is the place. Oh, and almost everywhere in Portsmouth offers some sort of student discount, so you don't have to worry about that either. Alright, so if you're a fresher watching this, you will probably want to know what it's like when you first get to Portsmouth. So when you first drive into Portsmouth, there are two landmarks you will know straight away. The first one being the Spinnaker Tower, which is the weird looking like Middle Eastern type tower, looks a bit like the Burj Khalifa. And the second one is Griefham Street Student Halls, which is one of the halls you may possibly be going in. It's one of the most expensive halls and it's not really worth the money. So if you're going to Griefham Street, I'm sorry already. But yeah, on a lighter note, if you want to go look around the Spinnaker building and area, you will notice straight away that you've gone into a massive shopping center. This is Gunwolf Keys. Gunwolf Keys is one of the biggest shopping centers on the South Coast, especially around the Solon. And it's amazing. It's got like Tommy Hilfiger, it's got a cinema, it's got Nando's, it's got everything basically. If you are going to Portsmouth, then you are already four types of people and I'm going to list them right now. The first one is a local, so if you live in between Gosport or Chichester or anywhere around Waterlooville or Portsmouth itself, Portsmouth area and the Solent has a very high rate of locals going to the university because they they tend to like it. If you live in Portsmouth, it's rare you say, I want to get out of the city because it's quite a nice place, it's got a nice community and yeah, pe locals like going to it. So the first one, you're a local. Second one is you're a foreign student. Now, out of those 23,000 students living in Portsmouth, 9,000 of them are foreign. Portsmouth has one of the highest rates of foreign students in the whole UK. It loves its foreign students. I've spoke to a lot of foreign students and a lot of them get told to come to Portsmouth. It's on a lot of exchange programs in China, in Japan, lots of different places. It's one of the main universities to go to. Don't ask me why, it just is. The third type of person you are is a party person. Now, if one of your friends go to university and they're a party person, there's a high chance they've asked you to come as well and you've joined along. Now, Portsmouth, because of the nightlife, it is one of the best places if you're a party person to go to university. And that means that a very, 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 very high population of the Portsmouth University students are party people. They love drinking, they love going out, they love having house parties, and that's just what Portsmouth's like. That would define Portsmouth, being a party person. And lastly, the fourth type of person, if you haven't heard yourself, this is you, the people that didn't know that. Now, if you're a quiet person, if you're not foreign, you're not a party person, and you're not a local, then you're just a minority in Portsmouth, really. <laughs> that's, that's the nicest way of saying it. Um, there won't be many other people like that, because I was like that, and when I came there, I found out they were either one of those three people, party people, foreign, or they just were living up the road. So, yeah. Um, Come hit me up if you're there because I ain't got any friends. No, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much Portsmouth. So yeah, when you actually get to Portsmouth, um, there's a very, very high probability that your parent guardian or whoever you're with that takes you there with all your stuff is just going to help you offload it and then leave you there. Now, there's a very good reason why they do this. It's because that's what happened to them, okay? Now, once you've been left and you've got all your stuff, you're going to be thinking, what the hell? Why have I just been left in this place? Like, there's a high chance you've never lived on your own if you're young. Um, even if you have, it's still scary. And it's just daunting, really. But the thing you've got to realise is everyone 
at the university and everyone, any university ever, they're in the exact same situation as you. They've never done this before. They're scared, they're whatever. So that's my biggest advice if you're scared. Just like, know that everyone else is in the same boat. So yeah, when you go into your halls, you're gonna notice something pretty quick. If you ticked a little box that said quiet area, you are gonna be put with all the foreign students. That's just how it is. Um, they don't tell you this when when you tick your box on the accommodation website and it says quiet area. A lot of people tick it because they're like, oh yeah, I'm going to the last stage of my education. I need it to be quiet. I need, no, that was a terrible choice. You've made a terrible choice. Um, you're gonna be put in with six to 10 other foreign students. I did this, this is how I know this. If you play loud music, if you like watching telly in your room, even if you're just on your phone listening to music, um, there's a high chance they will just report you like straight away. Um, a lot of foreign students don't like um, noise, they like it being completely quiet, they don't like talking, so if you came to university for the social aspect, then that's dead. <laughs> they are completely lovely, and if you are like them very quiet and you only like saying hi once a week, then yeah, that's that's fine. You've made the right choice. But yeah, if you came to university for being a party person, like I listed earlier, like many other people are, um, then no, they also don't like when you bring guests around. Like they're like, who is this? Like all of them will probably come out and introduce themselves. So yeah quiet area, not a good idea. But yeah, most student halls have an on-site security. Um, they can be very annoying as well because anyone can just report you. Um, if you smoke or if you do it in your room or if anything like that happens, like you just set off the food and it steams, then yeah, they're gonna be there in like 10 seconds to tell you off and threaten your deposit. That's pretty much what they're like. They're like, they're like really crap police. That's what I like. There's also fire alarms that you gotta worry about as well. Fire alarms are a serious issue at Portsmouth University, and I'm not sure if it's like this with other universities, but I know the company Unite Students do it a lot. Um, they like to test their fire alarms, like what they say once a week, it's more like five times a week at 2 a.m. <laughs> but um, yeah, fire alarms. That's a big downside to student life. Um, also, in a lot of the student halls, you will have to sign in your friends. So a lot of them say you can't have any more than two friends in at once, which is a bit crap. And it's also very hard to pick up takeaways. Like if you order a takeaway, you're gonna have to like walk down like sometimes 20 flights of stairs or get an elevator and then wait outside. And yeah, it's a bit of a hassle. Um, a lot of the takeaway people don't really know where to like wait. So it can cause some arguments and disputes. And there's, if you're in like Griefham Street, for example, where there's about 2000 other students, then there's a high chance there's about 50 people waiting for a takeaway as well, so it can get a bit rowdy. <laughs> but no, you don't have to do um, student halls, although I highly recommend it because it's a once in a lifetime experience really. Um, you can go into private accommodation, so you can go on the student pad website or you can go onto the Facebook page where they do like student housing. And yeah, it's, it's great really. It's usually cheaper than halls. Halls can be quite pricey. Um, it's good for house parties and takeaways. You can get as many takeaways as you want and they'll literally like slide it through your window if you know them enough, you know, it's quite fun. But yeah, now I'd like to talk about the perks of being in Portsmouth University. So one of the first things is there's a 24 seven library, which is absolutely amazing. So if you, if you wake up at 3 a.m. and you realize you've got a deadline or whatever and you don't have a computer, then You've got a library! <laughs> You've got a library just waiting there. It's pretty cool. It's got everything. It's got Apple Macs, whatever, you know. It's got quiet areas. It's got like three floors. It's quite big. Um, it's Some say it's not big enough, but I'd say it's like as bad as big as it can be. It's a pretty decent library, especially on like peak hours where it's quite quiet. It's quite a nice library to go to. And you freshers especially, you've got the largest freshers fair in the UK. So for the first week of university, you're gonna have so much free stuff. You're gonna have like £1.50 pints at Weatherspoons. You're gonna have like free Nando's for a week. You're gonna have like half price at every takeaway, like free Domino's, it's, it's mental really. Um, if you don't go to Freshers Fair, you'll regret it. Just run around Freshers Fair and pick up everything, you know, there's so much free stuff. Another good thing about Portsmouth University is it has so many societies. Like it's got things like foreign language society, it's got Afro-Caribbean society, it's got gaming societies, it's got uh, ultimate frisbee societies and 
there's like 200 members in like each of these is fairly big like and if if there is a society you don't have like I know I do contact staff and I do like circus tricks and they don't have that if I wanted to I could start that that society you know I could just do it myself and then I'll get a grant from the university and then people would join and that's pretty much what it's like like if you don't have your society you can just make one it's, it's the unions are very good for that and one of the biggest perks of Portsmouth University is it has such a condensed student life everyone's in one area there's about five clubs on this one strip and all the halls are all around it, so there's like 15,000 people just right next to you at all times. And not only that, but it also sprinkles out into other areas of the city, which is just great. You know, like, that's why although there's only 10% of the population of students, it feels like there's a lot more. It always feels like there's a lot more, because the areas you will go to, if it, there's like at least 50% students at all times. But yeah, lastly, I want to talk about the geography of Portsmouth because the geography of Portsmouth is quite fun. So I'm going to scooch over to the side to allow myself some space to show what Portsmouth's like. Um, there's three main areas of Portsmouth. There's Portsmouth, that's right, Portsmouth's not part of Portsmouth. Portsmouth's an area in Portsmouth. Um, many people don't know this. Um, many people don't acknowledge this, but if you ask any local, Portsmouth is only an area of Portsmouth. It's mainly the left side of Portsmouth, because the other side is South Sea. South Sea is not part of Portsmouth. Anyone that says it is, is wrong, because every local would tell you South Sea and Portsmouth are completely different entities. No one knows where it starts, and no one knows where it ends, but they are completely different, okay? There are so many other little areas of Portsmouth, such as Milton, such as Hilsey, but if you're a student, you only need to know North End, because although North End's only one big road going up through the centre of the top of Portsmouth, um, a lot of students just use the term North End to refer as anything that isn't Portsmouth or South Sea. So yeah. Anyway guys, I hope that helps um, if you're going to university or you want to know what it's like or if you're already going to Portsmouth and you just kind of want to know what else there is. Um, there's so much information on the websites, like you can look at pictures of it. It's one of the most beautiful places to go to university, like there's also Brighton nearby, but there are not many other places that you can just go to university and think, wow, I love living here. And many people that go to Portsmouth Uni end up living in Portsmouth. So yeah, um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Like, like Mr. Bentley. I spot a hood like Spud McKenzie. And for them fake boobies, I paid them Benjis. Get your own. I got.